everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today is another Thankful Thursday episode where I kind of bring in all of the things that have been sent to me or that won't fit in any other kind of unboxing video here on my channel. I hope that you enjoy all these things that I'm trying to bring you and that you bring me. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, let's get into it. The first box I have here box bag uh, is from Painting with Diamonds UK and I'll make sure that I have links for everything down below um, and this is really special so I don't know if you know this but there there's two different companies there's Paint with Diamonds that's not who this is from this is Painting with Diamonds dot uh, UK and they sell accessories so they also have the everlasting tips as well I ordered something big because I'm in desperate need. Ooh, candy. Thank you. I am in desperate need of some storage. So there's a little tiny sticker that says, thank you for supporting a small business. You're very welcome. Thank you for making these. Look at this. So this is, I love that tissue paper, by the way. I need to find black tissue paper. Ooh, hold on. There's an order form might have my address on it oh it's okay and there's a box in there oh yeah the box okay so first I'll do this so it says here this is the painting with diamonds storage bag in dark gray and I asked for the custom text works in progress because I want to use it for my knitting and my cross stitch so that I can put my project bags inside and stick it next to my recliner. I already have a, ba a um, storage container like this that I purchased from TK Maxx, which is like TJ Maxx in the States. It's Sometimes they change the name a little bit when they go abroad or something. Don't mind, Luna. And um, yeah, so this is amazing. This was, how much was this? Oh, it doesn't say. Anyway, if you click the link, you'll see how much it was. Um, I think it's a really good quality bag. This is really super thick felt, and the writing is so nice. It's like uh, vinyl, I guess. It's a really, really nice bag. Thank you so much. And this is from S Sam. Sam is the owner. And then I also got the Drills and Chills 2020 box. So there's a little sticker. It says, Happy Halloween. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Guys, Drills and Chills has been so much fun already. I love watching your progress. Look at that cute sticker. Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't. It's a cat bat. And oh, wow. Okay, so inside, here's what we get. So handmade diamond painting products for all your diamond painting needs. There's all the kinds of stuff that she sells. There are her handles on Facebook and Instagram. So that's nice. Very good. Look at all the cute stickers. Oh my gosh, there's so much nice stuff. Look at this. Oh, little bats. How adorable. We've got more stickers. So I'll just put these to the side. Aren't they cute? that it's a jack-o-lantern of jack-o-lanterns adorable what's this oh this is a pen holder and a pen let's have a look at the pen this is great <gasps> Ooh, it's purple oh my gosh I've never had one of these like ribbon pens before do you see that that is so cool excellent Ooh, I like that shimmer that's so pretty. Thank you. And it just goes just like that. That's really nice. Now, this is a super thin pen as well. Cool. What else we got? We got some candies, I think. Yeah, gummies or something. We've got a skull and a ghosty. Great for staying up late through those diamond painting sessions. Am I right? We've got more bats. We've got, ooh. One of those trays. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I wasn't paying attention. It's a diamond painting tray that's been 3D printed. It's got a lid and a stopper like this. <gasps> that is so cool. And it's this dark purple color. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love that. That's 
Awesome. And that way you're, you know, you can leave your drills in there if you want to. That's awesome. Really cool idea. We've got some <laughs> really cute washi tape. Look at that. That's adorable. Ooh, we've got a wish bracelet with a spider. I'm not fond of spiders. I might have to send this to Maggie because Mrs. Coffee's daughter loves spiders. Look at the cute cover mine. Now that is adorable. That is okay. <laughs> that is perfectly fine with me. Cute little cover minder. Nice job. Oh, look at that. And there's her name. Wonderful. Love it. And then we've got a sticky mat. I don't have one of these yet. So this is awesome. I have been wanting one of these. Now, what is this for? You might be wondering. Well, if you are working on a surface that it has an incline to it, these can help save your trays. So let's say, for example, my setup here was actually inclined slightly, you know, angled up. You can put down the sticky mat and you can put things on it like your tray and it won't move. Look, yeah, my coffee is, is moving now, <laughs> but this won't move. You know what I mean? And then obviously you can like pick it up to get it off and unstick it, but this will help to keep your tools or your diamond painting on a surface. <laughs> it is also really good as a bead mat. So if you do beaded cross stitch or cross stitch in general where you need beads to be used in that pattern, you can use sticky mats like that to, uh-oh. This is going to be hard now. How do I get this back on? <laughs> to um, to hold those beads still. This is, yeah, no, I don't think this is going to work. Is this going to work? Can I do it like that? Come on. Go like this. And then struggle. No. Come on. Struggle. Struggle. Well, you know what? <laughs> It's okay. I, maybe it'll just be sticky for the rest of its life. I don't, oh, 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 I might've got it. Okay. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you, if it gets unsticky, that you can run it underwater and that will make the sticky come back. <gasps> How cool is that? So I'll make sure that I have the links down below if it's still available, but that is such a good deal. Thank you so much. And it's all, you know, Halloween related for drills and chills. I think you should do this more often, Sam, with Christmas and other holidays or just in general for seasons. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to try out this tray. I don't have any diamonds near me, do I? Hold on. Okay, I got sparklers for squares in neon. If you're looking for sparklers, go to dpwithsparklers.com. Check them out. Let's just put a small amount in there. Ooh, I like how wide it is. That's really nice. Let's see if I can. Sometimes, depending on the tray, it just takes me a minute. People ask me all the time, how do you shake the tray? I just use a gentle shaking motion like that. There we go. Mostly lined up. I think this particular tray will work really well for round diamonds. These are rounds, but they're smaller. They're meant to be used on square diamond paintings um, so that they fit the grid better because there is a difference in the size. Um, so you can see that the these are a little bit smaller than those grooves, which is good because if they weren't, then you couldn't use this for round diamond paintings, but you can. So awesome. And it looks really cool. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you so much for, for putting this box together and giving us some cool themed stuff. I always like to look for stuff like this. So thanks so much, Sam. And I, I have something else to show you, but I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. 
So next up, I have a box from My American Market. Now, this was that late night purchase that you might have heard me talking about in previous videos. <laughs> um, I couldn't sleep one night and I got a real uh, kind of, what would you call it? I don't know. I just really wanted some food from home. So I found a website that you could order from. So as an expat who lives abroad, I live in Ireland, so sometimes I just get this hankering. I wanted to try out the site, so let's see what I got. Woohoo! Oh, they gave me an airhead. Oh, it's my favorite flavor. Yes! Awesome. So I got some Kool-Aid. I'm actually going to be using this today because I'm dying more yarn. And... If I remember correctly, it, it was a little expensive for the Kool-Aid, but like, I mean, come on, you know, it's, it, I live abroad. It's hard to get these things for the same price they would be in like Walmart or whatever. Oh, that feels empty. Do they all feel that empty? Hmm. Hmm. Weird. No, they don't. Okay, well, yeah, see that one, that one has a lot in it. I don't know if I can accurately show this without a scale, but there's definitely a difference in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's disappointing, but hey, that's probably not their fault. It probably came like that in the packet. There's no, oh, there is, there's a hole in the bottom. Okay, I'll I'll call them or contact them by email. Anyway, there we go. Kool-Aid, lots of yarn dying ahead. I think I got the lemonade one just to drink. Um, oh, more Kool-Aid. I've got some jalapeno pretzel pieces. I'm excited to try these when I decide that I'm going to have some beer again. <laughs> I'm I haven't drank beer in a while and um this would be a really good snack to take the to the pub or something. I find that uh, pub food can make cause me lots of heartburn. So, yeah. got that. Uh, here I've got some tea. Yes, yes. It is now fall, officially. So I purchased my favorite fall drinks, fall teas from Celestial Seasonings. Um, cinnamon, apple spice, and bengal spice. They're really nice. What was in bengal spice again? Canel chicory oh that's french cinnamon chicory carob natural spice and vanilla excuse me <clears throat> with other natural flavors ginger cardamom black pepper cloves and nutmeg it doesn't sound appetizing for some but trust me it's it's a really nice tea uh as is cinnamon apple spice what else i get a good vibes only. What is this? Did I order this? Drop in any mailbox. We guarantee postage. I don't think this is real. <laughs> okay. I think that might be a free gift or something. Um, I've got a box of frosted mini wheats. Y'all. Okay, they used to sell these a few years ago here, but now they only have the large shreddies. You know, the ones that are... Uh, long and and quite large they're the size of the bowl um, I prefer these I don't know I'm a child at heart okay like don't judge me also blue cheese dressing not a thing in Ireland I don't know why some restaurants in Dublin have like iceberg salads or blue cheese wedge salads but other than that, I have not found blue cheese dressing very often at all and definitely not in the store. So I bought some. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have either a salad or hot wings or whatever with this. And also barbecue sauce from Sweet Baby Ray's. This is my favorite barbecue sauce of all time. I, I have to have it. It's, it, it's a staple in my house. So, there's no lemonade um, Kool-Aid floating at the bottom of my box, so I'm guessing that it actually came that way. Um, it's not that big a deal, but I think they were like 90 cent each, <laughs> which is quite a bit. 
Like a, that's like a dollar each one. So anyway, you might think that I'm crazy or something like that, but this is my little haul from My American Market. If you're interested in checking out their website, if you live in Ireland and you want Irish or American food, go check them out. Easy to navigate the website and everything else. Anyway, if I have anything else that I can share with you in this episode, I will put it right here. Thank you all so much for watching, for giving this video a like, and let me know what your favorite thing in this video was. I would love to hear it down below in the comment section. If you're new here and you'd like to, please consider subscribing by hitting the little red subscribe bell just down there and the bell to be notified anytime that I upload a new video, which is six days a week. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye.